is up slim shady gaming here here bring you back another video and right before we get into the main topic i just want to show you guys that i have a new wallpaper that i put up i basically um kind of photoshopped my profile picture and see if i could have extended it out into something that looked really cool with like you know a black fade to the left side so if you guys want to check this out uh definitely feel free to do so you can download it if you want it's on my website I'll have the link in the description to where you can go straight off and download it. And if you want to, you can check everything else on the site. I would highly appreciate it. Uh, but anyways, though, let's get right into the main topic here. The good stuff. The stuff, you, you know, that you came here for. So what that is, is that I found two extremely amazing screen recorders on Chromebooks. And Chromeboxes, depending. I, I talk about this so many times on my channel. I'm just going to keep mentioning them as Chromebooks. Just for the lulz. But anyways, though. Uh, there is two screen recorders that I came by as of lately, and they both run so well, and I want to show you guys both of them today and see if you guys decide if you want to get uh, either one of them or get both of them. They're completely free as well, which is really great. Uh, but as you can see for the first one right here, uh, right here called Nimbus, the reason why I prefer this more uh, in some cases is first off, it's basically used for screenshots and this is probably my favorite application for getting screenshots in because you have so many options like me I put a little bit of fewer options because I don't like that much um, on my screen whenever I click on the extensions tab on there for Nimbus uh, it's you know but you can customize it to how your liking is and there's just so much um, on the extension itself that's really great so it's not just a screen recorder there's a lot more to offer within the app you know extension itself so you know there, there's a lot of stuff that you can customize around with so I highly prefer going to check that out and just seeing everything else that's on there if you are in the more than just that you know and the screen recording thing uh, for the other screen recorder right here uh, this it's just called screen recorder just straight up it's an application and I believe you have to be online. I'm not too sure. It doesn't say anything about that, unlike the other one for Nimbus. Because Nimbus, um, it records offline, I believe. And I think it records at 60 FPS, in which I'll show you guys soon how that recording is. And as you can see from this application right here, it's kind of like, I would say in beta. It doesn't really say what stage it's kind of in, but it works really well on Windows and Chrome OS, which is what Chromebooks run on and everything it works so well on here and you guys will be able to see that right now I'm using a capture card so you guys don't really um you get you know I'm not actually recording with the regular recorders but at the end of when I'm showing you guys how these all operate and everything I'll show the recordings to see if you guys you know you know see if you guys can make your own opinions on it but here's the first application right here this is basically where you can record a certain window you can record the desktop itself but the only thing that I do not like is that you can only record either your voice or the system audio which kind of sucks um, you also can record your face like let's say if you got a face cam you can record your face cam if you want to and then uh, anything else like that it's it, it's really cool and I just like it how it's an application because there's no screen recorders that I know of that are just complete applications on Chrome OS so uh, for something like this it runs very well I believe it runs like at 30 FPS mostly the whole time so if you're just trying to get that you know steady frame rate the whole time you're trying not to get anything higher it's definitely good and it doesn't really um, you know it doesn't really get in the way of when you're recording you know when you're recording nothing really goes down in performance unlike Nimbus to where if you want to get that 60 FPS, you're going to have a little bit of frame rate drops in your game, which you'll be seeing in a few. But from what you can see right here, nothing's going slow. Everything's running pretty smoothly. Even though it's a flash game, this is still running on Chrome OS on a big flat screen TV. So it's going to be maybe, it's it's usually glitchy here and there, um, or laggy I should say, uh, on my Chromebox. And if people are mentioned, they're like, what, what do you mean you were saying Chromebook? Chromebox, you know, I, I don't have a Chromebook, um, <laughs> but as you can see right here, I'm just recording right now, everything's pretty fine, nothing really is going wrong, and that's why I kind of like this screen recorder just a little bit more, and uh, in the future, it's going to get a little bit more universal, it didn't come out too long ago, I believe, uh, I, believe it was, uh, I believe it was a few months ago it came out, 
Uh, I haven't really seen it until someone like put it up into a URL on the YouTube comments. I'm like, this looks really cool. I'm like, let me check it out. And then boom, I checked the application out and I loved it ever since. And of course, the day I found it, I'm like, got to make a video on this compared to this other screen recorder that I just started using, which was called Nimbus. The um, quality on Nimbus, like the set, I'll show you guys the settings or whatever that I get my perfect frame rate for. Um, I, I won't get into that right now because we're getting into the other screen recorder right here. Uh, but as you can see, once you want to stop recording, you go back onto the open application you'll see like on the left side and then basically you just click stop recording and then you can either play the recording or just download it i recommend just downloading it if you don't like it then just delete it you know what i mean but that's really up to you but it's really cool how quick and easy it is to actually get your recording set up you don't have to sign up for anything no allowing everything to access everything which you'll be seeing for nimbus i really prefer that screen recorder just a little bit more in my opinion maybe you'll like this one more but as you can see right here, you get like a whole tab full of stuff right here that you can choose from for screen capturing. As you can see, you can go to uh, the visible part of the page to where you can just click on any of the options that you have, like cropping, and then looks. As you can see, I just cropped that out. So if you want to get like a certain capture, and you can throw an arrow in there or something if you want to do any clickbait or anything like that. That's fully up to you, though. Um, and then you'll see everything else, too, that there is. It, it's just a lot of, you know, things involving screen capture. And I'll go into the settings right now, which is the very customizable part. And there's just so much that you can look through. Not even I looked through everything yet, just because there's so much. Uh, but the main thing that I'm focusing on is the screen recording. I didn't even notice there was a screen recorder on here until not that long ago. I was like, let me check it out. And boom, it was freaking fantastic. Uh, but as you can see right here, you have to allow it to access your uh, camera, which isn't no big deal or anything. Sometimes it just stays there, even though you already have it set up. It's just a weird glitch that it has, but it's no big deal. Uh, I'm going to show you guys a couple of the settings I have for my recording right here, which is how I usually get my perfect FPS uh, and, you know, pretty nice quality. As you can see, too, there's like a lot of things for recording the tab or recording your voice. Really good stuff. Uh, make sure you put it on HD and make sure you turn the bitrate audio a little bit low and then put the, uh, what was it, the video, uh, video bitrate. Uh, make sure you put that to its highest. Um, so everything will be A-OK -okay from there and you'll be able to get that full quality that you probably been wishing for on recording on a Chromebook. I know a lot of people recorded off of these and it's just very laggy. <laughs> it's just very bad. Cough, cough, screencastify. I think a lot of people get the meme pretty, pretty good there. But you're going to be seeing a recording right here that I'm going to have with the uh, Nimbus. And you're going to see the performance is kind of getting, you know, a little bit heavy on this part. Like you see that... Uh, I'm just showing you guys a little bit of me just scrolling through right now. Uh, just scrolling through regularly. Um, but back on here, you're going to see a little bit of, you know, drops here and there. As you can see, there it's already, you know, dropping here and there. Which really sucks when you're using Nimbus. Like, I feel like the only way you'll be able to record without it, you know, lagging up a lot, as you can see right here, is I believe you have to set it to 30 FPS, which I think a lot of people are okay with. Uh, for I, though, I, I just like to have it at a full... You know 60 fps just because I, I i'm just addicted to having that frame rate on a video and i always want that on a video but that's fully up to you and what kind of performance that uh you have for your specific chromebook because i know some chromebooks are really good and a lot better than others but from right here as you can see on my chromebox it's just you know it's just a little bit slow if you guys are interested with the specs on my chromebox just so you guys can kind of relate on uh, spec wise so you know that if you know nimbus might work a little bit better for you mine has an intel celeron 2955u and i believe it's clocked at 2.6 gigahertz and uh what else uh i have four gigabytes of dd ddr3 ram uh i think it's crucial too crucial stick uh but as you can see right here you can play the recording if you like. It's like right there. You can play it if you, you know, if you really want to. That's actually optional if you want to watch that. I kind of on here compared to the other screen recorder. I'd rather watch it on here first and everything. As you can see, everything's super smooth on there. It's really crazy. Um, and I'm going to show you guys in a little bit on how these screen recorders are right here. So feel free to watch them. Uh, I'm just going to stop talking from here because you kind of already get the gist now for everything. Um, and you kind of know how my specs are. So you kind of 
maybe can relate and maybe the screen recorders work a little bit better for you depending on what kind of system you have so anyways i'm just going to stop rambling on from here i hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video i hope this was pretty helpful so anyways have a great one my dudes and uh slim shaney is now gonna go make himself a burger a booger all right peace Bye. <laughs>